Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Path 3 service in Action Server 2019. First, we need to set up Path 3 related settings like authentication method and port numbers using the Action Admin Center. And for that, I am going to click on Internet Explorer icon. Let's uh, type in URL HTTPS, call in double slash localhost slash ecp and press enter key to access the action judgment center. Click on more information and then click on go on to the web page. Let's sign in as an administrator with the password. In the action judgment center web interface, we need to click on service and then we need to click on service tab. Uh, on service tab, select the server for which you want to configure pop 3 service and click on edit icon. In our case, we have only one server and that is a local server ex19-mbx01. Let's select the server and click on edit icon. On server property page, we need to click on pop3. And here we can see the logon method. Uh, it is selected by default secure TLS connection. If you want to change the logon method, then you can, uh, you can click on this drop down button and select the method of your choice. But in this demo, we want to use secure TLS connection logon method. Uh, let me scroll a little bit. Here we can see TLS or unencrypted connection ports, which will work on TCP port 110. And for SSL connection, we need to use the TCP port 995. If you want to modify the settings, you can modify it from here. But we are going to use the default settings. And that's why I'm simply going to click on save changes. Perfect. Remember, in Action Server 2019, by default, POP3 and IMFO client connection services are not started. It needs to start manually. If you want to enable user access for these protocols, we must start the services and configure them to start automatically. For that, we can use Services Management Console or we can use Windows PowerShell. Here, I'm going to use Services Management Console. And for that, we need to click on Service Management Console. Uh, click on Tools and select a Services. Now to maximize it, we need to find the Pop3 service. Microsoft Exchange Pop3. And as you can see, the service startup type is manual. Let's double click on it. Uh, start type is going to be automatic. Click on Apply and let's start the service as well. Perfect. Let's click on OK to close the console. We also need to do the same for Microsoft Exchange Path 3 Backend Service. Let's select the service, double click on it. Let's change the startup mode to automatic. Click on Apply and click on Start. Fine. Now, as we have configured Path 3 service on our Exchange Server 2019, we want to set up Outlook profile for one user using pop3 service but before we do that let me show you something as well let's go back to the exchange management uh, exchange admin center on exchange admin center let's click on recipients and here we have one user named abaris sarma uh, let me show you one more thing let's click on service uh, click on certificate already we have installed and configured as a certificate for our exchange server 2019 and that certificate is assigned to services IMAP, POP, IS, and SMTP. So I want to say that already we have configured the certificate for POP3 service as well. Now let's jump to our Windows 10 client computer. Uh, in the last video, we have configured the Outlook client using the auto discover service on this computer. On control panel, I'm going to click on mail because already we have created one Outlook profile and uh, using that auto discover, and that's why we want to create a new profile. Let's click on show profiles. Click on add to add a new profile. Let's click on OK. Now this time we are going to select a manual or additional server types. Click on next. Uh, this time we need to select pop or IMAP. Click on next. And here we need to specify the details about the user. Uh, let me specify user detail. User's email address is barat.serma at msftwebcast.com. 
account type is going to be pop3 and here we need to specify the name of our incoming mail server which is going to be mail.msftwebcast.com and it is going to be same for outgoing as well use name and let's specify the password as well now i'm going to click on more settings click on outgoing server and here i'm going to select my outgoing server smtp requires authentication use the same settings as my incoming mail server click on advanced tab and here i'm going to select the checkbox the server requires an encrypted connection which is ssl and once you select this checkbox the port number will automatically change to 995 let's click on this drop down button here i'm going to select auto mode and i'm going to change the port number to 587 okay now we need to click on ok button uh, before creating the profile we want to test account settings and that's why i'm going to click on test account settings as you can see the status is completed let's click on close click on next now actually i forgot to remove that checkbox Click on finish. Perfect. Uh, here I'm going to select the checkbox prompt for a profile to be used. Click on apply. OK. And let's close control panel. This is the test message sent by Outlook. Uh, let me minimize it. Uh, let's click on start button. Let's click on Microsoft Office 2013 and click on Outlook 2013. As we have two profiles on our computer and that's why we need to select the profile which we want to access. Here this time I'm going to access uh, the profile which we have created using POP3. Fine. Okay, all the mails has been successfully downloaded from user's mailbox to Outlook. And if you want to send a new mail, you can click on new emails. We want to send the message to administrator at msftwebcast.com. Let's click on send. Click on yes. Click on outbox. Okay, it is empty. And let's click on send items. And we can confirm that the mail has been successfully sent using the Outlook. Using the same steps, we can also configure IMAP4 service as well. That's all for this video on how to configure POP3 service in Action Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.